There have certainly been some modifications made since 1910, but I bet you'll recognize this building. It's the train station, the bus station, and back then, it was the Michigan Central Depot. This is the view from Rose Street. Well, speaking of history, boy, there's a lot of it at the Ladies Library Association of Kalamazoo. They have a new book out, The Library Ladies of Kalamazoo, Their Home and History. The co-editors are here today, Deb Killarney and Carla Emig. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. This is Thanks. so exciting. I thought I knew the history of the Ladies Library Association building, but I guess I just didn't know the extent of how impactful and important this is to our nation's history. This is the, tell us how it was the first building built specifically by women for women, is that correct? Yes, and the money raised was by the women. Isn't that cool? But we had to change some laws in order for that to happen. Tell us about that. Well, women weren't allowed to own property back then uh, unless it was through dower rights and so they enacted legislation, and we've included that in the book, photographs of that, so that people who read it can see that, too. It is a beautiful, beautiful building. They spared no expense, even though in those days, you know, it didn't sound like a lot of money. How much did it cost to build at the time? Uh, $14,000 included the furnishings. Wow, that's amazing to us. But that, in today's money, that's... I don't know how much that would be. Oh, it, that yeah. was in 1879 when the building was completed. 1879. And you have so many beautiful elements to the building. Who designed it? It was a Chicago architect, mm -hmm. uh, Henry Lord Gay, and um, with the ladies' approval. They approved everything, that what the stained glass windows would look like, and the layout, but he was the one that brought the original plans up. Let's take a look at some of the elements of the house. Those are the original blueprints to this very, very grand house. And for those who may not know what we're talking about, it's right behind the Kalamazoo Civic Theater. Mm. Let's look at some other pictures of the Ladies Library Association. What are we looking at here? That's the main hall, the um, library that was the original library. I think we might have a picture of the original the, there it is that's how it looked initially uh, and now how it looks today it houses all of the old books uh, rare and vintage books that are in there and we hold many of our social events there too you do have a lot of things fun things going on there all the time what is the purpose of your club or the organization what do you do well we're um, educational we, we are a service organization we really try to live the volunteer service and that's how the building came about originally the women needed a house that they could a home that they could invite individuals into it was the original lending library in Kalamazoo so they were very interested in bringing um, education um, musical events were held there and so we have continued that tradition the way you laid out the book is a tour of sorts. Right. In the beginning of the book, there's an introduction um, about the history and the women that were involved with initiating the project. And then we, each chapter after that, describes the room, what it looked like originally, the details of the room, the tile around the fireplace, for example, and the alcove. So it's a, each chapter goes through each room. And then also the renovations that we've had over the years. The kitchen was added to the building, then the elevator and the new areas were added just this year to make the building um, accessible for disabled people. I love some of the elements, the ceiling with the stars. That's beautiful. Is that original? Is that how it was in the original design? Mm -hmm. It is. And it was my pleasure to photograph um, the book. So I did all of the photographs that are in the, in the uh, publication and I loved the ceiling. Fell in love with it because different times of the day it looks, it has a totally different appearance. The sun filtering through the stained glass window dances across the wall in the kaleidoscope of color. That is just gorgeous. I just love it. And you told me a beautiful story about a little girl who came Right. To the we building. had one little girl that was touring with her family and uh, she looked up the ceiling and there are gold stars that are painted on the ceiling in the tower and she wondered what the stars meant and the tour guide said, I'm not sure what they mean and she said well I think that they represent all the ladies that were ever ladies members of the ladies Aww, library. That is so cute. So that is sweet. so sweet. <laughs> it is. Your book is in hardcover. Yes. You also have soft cover mm -hmm. and it's now out. It's already won awards. Yes it did. 
It won the uh, Kalamazoo Historical Society Award for the Year, only the second book in the history of their awards to win an award. Isn't that great? This was a long time in the making. Um, it took us about 16 months. And you had a whole team of people doing the research and we did. There helping. Was seven of us all together. With this, this is so great. And where can we find your fabulous book? Well, we can, you can get it at the Michigan News Agency on um, Michigan Avenue downtown. Um, and then through Amazon. the ladies. Com. Amazon.com. And then at the Ladies Library, whenever we have an event, we sell the book at the event. We have a Victorian tea coming up, the Ladies Bazaar during the holidays. Uh, or you could just email um, us and we can set you up with the book. Library Ladies Group at gmail.com. And we are going to be at Art Hop um, at oh, the right. Legacy Center, the Zhang Legacy Center. Um, next Friday. Next Friday. Fantastic. You must be so proud of this. You should be. It's an absolutely beautiful book. It was a labor of love. Thank you so, so much for being here and congratulations on it. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back on The Lori Moore Show on your CW7.